Hi, in this video I'll present the most common way of deriving the equation of gravity inside Earth. It all stems from the assumption that mass is equidistributed, meaning that if you take two same volumes inside Earth, regardless of the allocation, then they will have the same mass. All right, so now imagine we have a particle of mass m inside Earth. Let us virtually divide Earth into concentric shells and understand the forces that each of these shells imposes on our particle. Note that the picture represents a cross-section of Earth. There are two types of shells, internal and external relative to our particle. Let us first understand forces coming from external shells. Draw a line through our point and the center of the Earth. Consider some part of our shell that is symmetric relative to this line. We know it exerts a gravitational force on our particle, but this part of the shell pulls our particle in the opposite direction. What is the resultant force? To know that, we just want to calculate distances and masses and use Newton's law of gravity. Let us denote the shortest of the two distances as h, so another one becomes 2r minus h. Denote the length of this segment as little r. The volume of this shaded part is approximately that of a cylinder with radius r and height s, which is the width of our shell. We likewise calculate the volume of the other bit here. It requires a simple trigonometry to write r and r prime in terms of h, r, and the angle of the wedge. Remember that mass is simply volume times density, and the density, by assumption, is constant. Now look at the ratio of the forces F1 and F2. Constants such as density, gravitational constant, and mass of Earth will cancel out. We will be left with volume 1 over volume 2 times distance 2 squared over distance 1 squared. Do you see it? We get 1, so the forces are equal, meaning they cancel out. As you can guess, varying the angle of this wedge here allows us to conclude that an entire shell causes no force on our particle. Therefore, the only non-zero force on our particle comes from internal layers. Their collection represents a sphere of radius half to r minus h and our particle is at its surface. The volume is just 4 thirds pi r minus h cubed. Therefore, the gravitational force on the particle can be written as some constant c times m times r minus h. We now make a very peculiar observation. The particle inside Earth performs a simple harmonic motion. So here is some homework for you. 
Google the constants from this equation and calculate how long will it take a human to fall through Earth. Leave your answers in the comments.